Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be creating this look for you guys. It's super, it's not like super glam or too much, but it's definitely different from what I've been doing on my channel these last couple of makeup tutorials that I've been uploading. So I wanted to kind of add a little bit of color, but not nothing too much, but something that's still wearable on the natural side that you could wear you know, during the day if you just want it to be like really extra or like if you're going out somewhere during the day. This could even be like a nighttime look. You could even darken it up just a little bit for like an actual event maybe if you're going to at nighttime or something like that. But this look was super easy. Do you want to say thank you to Flower Beauty for sponsoring this video. I am going to be using some of their products in this video. I do give you my honest opinions on these products. So if you guys would like to see how I incorporated these products right here from Flower Beauty, then keep on watching. First I'm going to be going in with the Supernova Skin Elixir Oil and I really like this because it really just hyd hydrates and primes my skin and just gives me that soft overall glow and it has six different antioxidants in it which works together to really just protect and restore your skin and I really like it as well because you can use it as a primer or even mix it into some matte foundations if you want to make it more into like a luminous glowy foundation. And as you guys can see here, it really just gave me that nice, natural glow. My skin is looking super healthy. And now I'm going to be going in with the Hourglass Foundation, and this is in the shade Golden Amber. It seems really orange, but I promise you, at the end of the tutorial, you'll see it's all come together. Now I'm going to be taking my Damp Beauty Blender to go ahead and blend in the foundation all over my skin. Now onto concealer. I'm taking the new Tarte Creaseless Concealer. To be honest, I think this is pretty much just like the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, just with a stick. I'm not sure if it really is, but I like it. This shade right here is 34G. It's a medium shade, but to be honest, it really blended in with my foundation and didn't give me any type of highlight. So you'll see me going in with another concealer, the same type of concealer, but in a lighter shade, and I believe it's in 33N. And that really just highlights, just gives me a little bit more highlight that I was looking for. Now, these concealers are definitely on the dewy side and more on the thick side, but I really like concealers like that because it just really gives you that nice glowy effect to your skin and your skin just looks super healthy and dewy and I feel like it's perfect for like the summertime but you do want to make sure you do set these concealers for sure. So now I just took the same concealer and went ahead and applied it to my lids to go ahead and prime my lids and I'm just taking this e.l.f. concealer brush to go ahead and blend in that concealer. Now onto contour, I am taking this Maybelline foundation stick in the shade Mocha to Cream Contour. And the brush that I'm using to blend out this cream contour is an e.l.f. brush and it is the Blurring Foundation Brush. So now I'm going back in with the Tarte Concealer in the shade 33N to really brighten up a little bit more because I feel like sometimes my cream contour takes away from my highlighted area. So that's why I like to go ahead and add just a little bit more. Now I am taking the Flower Beauty Blush Balm and this is a lightweight buildable liquid color for your cheeks. Um, I really like it because it's definitely non-staining and it really blends out super easy with giving me that nice natural blush. Now I don't normally use liquid blushes, but this was definitely something new for me to try out and I actually do like it. I feel like it's perfect for like a no makeup makeup type of look, but here I am using it on a full face and you guys will see the outcome of it. It just looks really nice and natural. It's not too much. It's not super pigmented, but it definitely is buildable. And as you see here, it just looks really nice and natural and very subtle. 
So now I'm going to be setting my face and I'm setting it with my favorite setting powder, which is the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And I am making sure that I am setting pretty much my whole face because I use a lot of creams and a lot of products that are more on the dewy side and luminous side. And we do want the foundation to last through the heat and the humidity wherever you are and you're dealing with it. So make sure you are setting, setting, setting when you are using thick creams and dewy products. So now I'm taking this makeup brush to really set in the powder and really blend it out so we don't have any harsh indications of where I put the powder onto my skin. And I really like using this brush because it really just gives me that airbrush look as well. So now I need to go ahead and set my cream contour and I'm taking the NARS Travel Kit. This is their little mini one and I'm taking just the contouring shade. I believe it's in Laguana. I believe that's what it is. This is like my second time using it, but that's what I'm going in with for my all over contour. Now I just took a little bit of my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder onto my Damp Beauty Blender and I'm just taking this sponge to go ahead and chisel up that contour that can be kind of messy, but this really just helps with the cheekbones as well. And now I'm going to be taking my Too Faced spray again to really set in all of those powders and creams that I have been applying to my face. Now onto eyes, I am taking this Urban Decay Born to Run, I believe the name of the palette is. And I'm taking that very, it's not an orange shade, but it's more of like a burnt orange, I guess you could say. And I'm just using that as my transition shade. And now I'm going to be taking an actual orange color. I ended up showing you the wrong one right there, but I'm actually taking that orange shade and I'm really just packing that onto the outer corner of my eye because once I go in with my glitter shade, I'm going to be kind of doing a cut crease. So I don't really want to apply that all over the lid. So I'm just packing that on the outer edge of my eyelid. So now I'm going to be going in with a glitter and this is the Warrior Glitter from Flower Beauty. And the shade that I'm going in with is called Flame. And I really like this color because it just went perfect with the colors I already have on my lid. And the applicator of this product is a wand and it definitely made the application a lot easier. So there you go, is a swatch of the shade I'm using. And as you guys can see here, I'm applying it, but then I go ahead and lift my eye up so it can give me that direct area on where to apply the shadow with my natural crease. Now the only thing I will say about this product is you do have to kind of apply a lot and you do want to make sure you are looking down to let it dry or it will crease and then the product will pick up. But other than that, I really did like that shadow. So now I'm going back in with the Urban Decay palette and I'm taking that orange shade and really just going to be blending in the glitter and the outer edge of my lid so you don't have a harsh line of where the glitter stops. So I went ahead and did the other eye off camera to save some time. Now I am just taking the brush I used for that bright orange shade and I'm just using what's left over on the brush to go ahead and give me some color to my bottom lash line. And I went ahead and popped on some lashes and some mascara to also save some time. Now all the products that I'm using are going to be listed down in the description below and these lashes are my favorite, they're the Mykonos lashes. And now the highlight, I don't know why I didn't show it on camera, but the highlight I'm going in with is Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. And you guys can see, it's amazing. Just highlighting all over my face. Now onto my lips, I'm using this brand of lip liner that I found in my makeup bag. I got it from Riley Rose, but I'm not sure the name of the color, but I will list it down in the description below. And then I'm just going to be taking a NYX lip gloss, and that is in the shade Madeline. Madeline, however you say it. I really just threw that lip color together, but it looks pretty good with this, this look. <laughs> All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I think this look came out really good. I feel like I haven't done a look like this on my channel in a little while, so I'm super excited for it. I thought it came out really good. I'm loving these colors. It's nothing too bold, but it's a little more extra to what I'm normally doing. I hope you guys liked it, and I do want to thank Flower Beauty again for sponsoring this video. This look came out really good, and don't forget to check down in the description box below on where you can find the products and exactly how much they are, and you can 
Just do your research on the product to see if you would like to go out and buy it or order it online. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you turn on that notification bell just in case you miss out on some uploads because I am getting back in the groove now. More uploads are coming. More videos have been being posted here lately. So if you would like to just keep up with me, then make sure you turn on that bell. But other than that, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.